right, here on Spedley Wood Design, we're making an army of jack-o'-lanterns. All right, last year I bought a digital file bundle from Andy Bird Builds, and in that included some jack-o'-lantern um, faces. So I cut out two sets of faces a couple weeks ago and I was debating whether to put them on Facebook Marketplace. Well, two days ago I decided, all right, let's do it, let's see what happens. I got overwhelmed with orders. I mean, I've got over 30 sets of these things that I gotta make in the next couple days. So, in the next couple days I'll be making these and I'll show you how I did it. So one of the, um, one of the, the things that I designed into this was a hole in the top to add these LED um, solar powered lights. Um, these are the ones, the, you know, the, these are the yard lights that you can buy off Amazon. So um, I bought these, tried them out, and they work fantastic. So they have an on off switch and they charge during the day. And then as soon as it gets dark, it turns on as long as you have the on switch turned on. There's two sets. I've already sold one set. I got two more sets over there that I got to finish putting the tops on and the LED lights on. And let's, uh, let's get this thing going and uh, crank out 30 sets of these things. So to get started, I need to cut down some cedar fence pickets to five and a half inches. Uh, these are the three quarter inch by six inch by six foot long pickets. Um, I got over 70 of these pickets to make these 30 sets. 30 sets equals 90 um, jack-o'-lanterns. I uh, just got to clean up my mess after cutting those down. Uh, the next step is to cut out or cut to length the um, sides of the jack-o'-lanterns on my table saw sled. I'm cutting these down to 8 inches. I'm also going to cut out the uh, tops and the um, bottoms at the same time so I can have everything cut out with the assembly process. So I'm using my uh, CNC um, to cut out all the faces. Um, I started out pocketing them, them all out, uh, but it turned out being 13 minutes to cut it out. Um, so instead of pocketing it, I decided just to uh, cut out, cut it out with tabs and then I'll use a jigsaw to um, finish the cut. Um, now I decided to miter each of these. Um, I thought it would look a little bit nicer than putt joints. Um, so Adding this miter um, does add an extra step, but it gives it more of a finishing touch um, that I like better. All right, with the miters done, I can start assembling the jack lantern itself, um, just using some 18 gauge um, quarter inch crown staples. Now I had an issue with some of these where I wasn't paying attention where I was stapling and I got some staples through the eyes and through the mouth. Gotta make sure I don't do that. All right, the next step is to get the um, bottom cut out. So this is just a four inch by four inch um, square uh, that I'll make sure will fit in the bottom. And I'll head over to the laser and add my logo. I really wasn't going to add it, um, but since there was three minutes um, for each CNC program to cut out the faces. I figured I could add this without having an issue. Now with that laser engraved, I can go ahead and uh, nail that into the bottom. Now with that nailed down, I can head over to the CNC and add the holes to the tops for the uh, solar lights. Um, if you haven't checked out my other video on locating pins, you should check that out because this um, way of clamping down using these pins is fantastic. It uh, saves a lot of clamping, um, manually clamping stuff down, quick change uh, overs on CNC programs. Now with those cut out, I can head over to my uh, portable router and I will clean up those tabs the CNC program left. Now to attach the tops, I'm not using staples, I'm using screws. 
Um, that way, if the uh, customer wants to take off the top and add one of those flickering T lights, they can um, just by removing two screws. There is my army of jack-o'-lanterns. 90 jack-o'-lanterns, 30 cents. They turned out fantastic. Whew, that is going to wrap up this video. Um, I made 90 of these jack-o'-lanterns in three days, um, and it was tedious. I will not lie to you. It was tedious. Um, these are considered smalls, um, and they're small, quick projects. You can get done quick um, and sell um, relatively cheap, um, and you have to sell a lot to make a good, big profit. And I'm not sure if that's something I want to keep doing, are these smalls. Um, will I do them in the future? Yeah, probably will if the opportunity arises and the right thing comes along. Um, but I could not have done this without my CNC. Um, I would not want to cut these faces out by hand. I mean, it would be tedious to do that by hand. Um, but the CNC was a huge help. Um, it took me about three minutes per face to cut these out. Um, it left tabs, and I just had to use a little jigsaw to clean it up. Um, but that was a huge help. So there's a content creator on YouTube. I forget who it is, um, but he talks about smalls versus those big whales. Um, big whales meaning like those big project custom jobs where you're building a, a $10,000 epoxy table or or a kitchen for fifteen twenty thousand dollars um, dollars those are custom things, not smalls. And I think I want to gear towards more of those custom things. Um, if you looked at my last video, um, I talked about the projects I want to work on this next year. I've got some custom stools I want to make. I've got a cedar chest that I'm commissioned to make. And I want to focus on those custom things um, down the road. And I'm hoping um, that along the way that you viewers will learn some things from me. Um, I'm probably gonna learn a lot of things along the way. Um, I made some mistakes on these, on, on several of them. I had to fix them or it had to be thrown away. Um, but I just, I just learning along the way and I'm hoping that you're gonna learn along with me. So that's gonna wrap it up for this video and I hope to see you next time here on Smedley Wood Design.